What's up guys, Austin Numi here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today we're talking all about the RGB warp transition. This is a very easy transition to get inside Adobe Premiere Pro without any plugins or presets. I'm going to show you how to do it, but before we do, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post notifications on. And make sure to connect with me on Instagram at Austin Makes Films to suggest new tutorial ideas. All right, so I'm inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm ready to transition in between these two clips. Now I'm gonna go up to my project panel, right click new item adjustment layer. These are my settings, so it looks good. I want this to be a 30 frame transition. So I'm gonna go up here to my adjustment layer properties under video out point, and I'm going to reflect those changes here. This is a 24 frame timeline, so it will convert it. And now we're gonna take this and drag that in between our two clips. Now I've got my adjustment layer centered between these two clips. I'm going to go to my effects panel and I'm going to grab lens distortion and you'll have to scroll down for this one. Grab lens distortion and drag that onto your adjustment layer. Now we're going to go to the middle of our transition here and under curvature, I'm gonna set a keyframe. I'm gonna go to the end clips using the down arrow key, set a keyframe. Go back to the beginning and set another keyframe. Now we're gonna go back to that middle value and we're gonna set this keyframe at negative 70. While you're holding down command, select each of these keyframes and then you're going to right click and change that to Bezier. Now we're gonna go back over to our effects and grab directional blur, drag that onto your adjustment layer. And under blur length, we're gonna set this keyframe to a value of 35 right here in the middle, set that keyframe. We're gonna go to the end clips here of this adjustment layer and we're going to set a keyframe for a value of zero on each end. Now go back to your effects panel and we're going to grab a cross dissolve. Grab that and drag that in between these two frames here that you're transitioning. We're gonna drag this down until it is two frames long. Now hit C on the keyboard to bring up the cutting tool and clip both of these edges here. Highlight both of these clips, right click. We're gonna nest and we're gonna call this RGB because this is where we're gonna be doing the actual split. Let's drag the adjustment layer up a couple of tracks. We're gonna select our RGB nest, go down opacity, blending mode, and we're gonna change this to linear dodge add. We're gonna go back to our effects, grab the RGB color balance, drag that onto our nested clip. We're gonna take green down to zero and blue down to zero. We're also gonna set a scale under motion right here in the middle and then we're going to go to the ends of each of these and set a keyframe. All right, so with this nested clip selected, let's hold down Alt and click to drag up. That'll duplicate this layer, and let's do it one more time to fill all this space. Now let's go to the top layer here. We see that the red is a value of 39, which is great. That's full value. Let's go to the second one. We're gonna turn this one into green. So we're gonna take red down to zero and take green to 100. It will auto-correct to 39, which is fine. That's full value. Go down here to your bottom, which is your blue. Take red down to zero and take blue up to 100. Now we're gonna go to the scale keyframe right here in the middle of the blue. We're gonna set this keyframe to a value of 102. We're gonna go to our green layer, which is the middle here. We're gonna set this to a value of 103. We're gonna go to the top layer. We're gonna set this to a value of 105 for your red. So now we're gonna go back up to our adjustment layer. We're gonna go under lens distortion. You'll see curvature has a little toggle arrow to the left of it. Click that and that'll reveal our speed graph. Now with this middle Bezier keyframe selected, we're gonna take the left pick whip and drag that down slightly. We're gonna take the right pick whip and drag that up slightly. And I'll give you the smooth motion like this. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like on this video, comment below what tutorials you'd like to see covered next on this channel, and make sure to subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post certification on. Until next time guys, we'll see you later.